Hello all. In today's video, we will see what is meant by measure of central tendency and what are the requisites for an ideal measure of central tendency. The notes for the video have been provided in the download link below. In the last video, we had seen what is an histogram. So if we observe the histogram, we can easily infer that 29 students have scored between 39.5 to 44.5 marks. In other words, suppose you are the teacher teaching this subject and some other teacher asks you how have your students fared in the subject, then you will not tell her marks scored by each student. You will just answer that maximum students have scored between 39.5 to 44.5 marks. This brings us to the definition of measure of central tendency. Statistical constants which give an idea about the concentration of values in the central part of the distribution are called as measures of central tendency. The five most commonly used measure of central tendency are arithmetic mean, geometric mean, harmonic mean, median and mode. Now coming to requisites for an ideal measure of central tendency. Firstly, it must have a strict and clear definition. It should be easily understandable and simple to compute. It should consider all available observations. It should be appropriate for subsequent mathematical analysis. It should minimize the impact of sampling fluctuations. And it should remain relatively unaffected by outliers. That's all for today. In the next video, we'll see arithmetic mean. Thank you.